Hello everyone, it's Tamara Bennett from Southern Adornments Decor where I help you discover your painting talents and beautify your home. Um, if you hear a lot of noise in the background, I apologize because my husband is like right outside this window pressure washing our house. So I thought I'd hop on here. I'm going to be painting a mason jar filled with hydrangeas and um, I just thought I'd paint and let you guys kind of watch. So um, let me see if I can angle my camera just a little better for you guys. Did you be able to see there we go um, the color that I'm using for my hydrangeas is bright magenta so um, it's just an apple barrel paint from Walmart that you can get and I like to use egg cartons to put my paint in and this one's nearly empty good morning how are you guys Andrea and Denny <laughs> What are you guys doing this morning? I've got one kid home from school that's not feeling too well. And then, um, of course, Charlie. And right now, they wanted to go outside and play in the kiddie pool. We've got a doctor's appointment this afternoon. So, you were just about to download this stencil. I think you mean template. I guess you mean template. That That is something that I offer. If you guys want the template, for this mason jar full of hydrangeas, you can get the template or the blank on my website, southernadornmentsdecor.com. Hey, Amanda. <laughs> Glenda, don't get in trouble. Hi, Crystal. Good morning. You caught me live. Oh, you got a day off, Carrie. That's nice. Okay. Let me see where to place this. That's about right. Okay, I'm just going to start with like a flat-tipped brush. I'm dipping it in my bright magenta. Good morning, Leanne. And I'm just going to do the basic shape of my flowers first. Um, it's already kind of got three little humps kind of here on the side. So I'm just going to kind of consider, consider, <laughs> continue that pattern on around. And you can just keep wiggling your brush until you feel like you've got uh, a decently rounded uh, my hydrangea shape. I'm going to round it out just a little bit more over here. This does not have to be like perfect with a certain number of petals or... You know, it doesn't even really have to be symmetrical. That's the good thing about hydrangeas is they're very um, big and fluffy, and so they don't have to be a particular shape. So if you haven't painted flowers before, hydrangeas are a good one to start with. So there's one flower. Good morning, Karen. Okay, and then there's another one up here. So I'm just going to continue that one, and I'm going to connect the two. Let me swoop that out just a little bit more. And this one's just going to come on down here. It's going to be, they're going to be pretty big. And then just fill in the middle. <clears throat> and then after I get my, th my flowers drawn, everything else that's above the jar will be uh, greenery. It is such a nice day outside today. And my husband got out at like 7 o'clock this morning and started pressure washing the house, so thankful for that because it was looking pretty rough okay there's another flower let's just do one more there's a couple little humps right here so I'm just going to use those to keep building the shape and build this one on down and then just fill it in Phyllis said you need to keep practicing the flowers well flowers these like I said these hydrangea flowers are probably some of the easiest flowers to paint um, Especially if you're, you know, intimidated by drawing the shape of the flower. These hydrangeas are really easy. You pretty much just wiggle your brush around until you like the shape. So, that's what I've got so far. I'm going to rinse that brush and show you guys a little bit better. So, see how I used the humps on this edge, the humps up here, and then the humps over here to kind of do the shape of my flowers. And I see a spot that I may missed. So, let me go back and touch that up. Right there and right there didn't quite get the edge okay so now we need to add leaves and the color I like to use is the palm leaf green hey Michelle I know we haven't chatted in a while I've been busy things are going good though hi Kathy okay I'm gonna swap to a smaller brush this one's still flat tipped but just smaller and um, you can draw your leaves on ahead of time if it kind of intimidates you to just freehand them. But I'm just going to freehand them. And I'm just going to do like a little teardrop shape there. 
and another little teardrop shape here, kind of going off in opposite directions. And make that one just a little bigger. And so now everything below these leaves will be jar. Good morning, Shelly. Hey, Renee. And everything else above them will be greenery. I love how this green and pink look together. And this is a good door hanger to keep up like all summer long because, you know, it's just flowers and hydrangeas and stuff like that. So that's very summery. Okay, now everything up here, I'm just gonna fill in green. Hey, Amanda, hi, Angela. Is anybody else painting today? I don't know if y'all can hear that pressure washer out there or not. It seems loud to me, but I don't know. He's kind of like outside my, he's not directly on the window. Right before I started this, he was cleaning the actual window that's connected to this room and it was really loud. I was like, I hope he doesn't decide to suddenly start cleaning that window again while I'm live. But who knows, he may. Okay, so for right now, all of that is a solid green. Whoops, just about dropped it. Renee says, we have a Mother's Day tea and paint party for the mother-in-law and we're doing, oh, it disappeared. We're doing the watering can with flowers. Oh, fun. Hi, Marilyn. Amanda, you're painting in the evenings, eight more days of the 30. I've been kind of watching a little bit, Amanda. I've kind of popped in and watched for a few minutes each day. I am just so impressed by you doing that 30 day Facebook live challenge. If you aren't following Amanda, she is dressy, door decor and more. And she's doing a 30 day Facebook live challenge and she's painting like every day on Facebook. It's amazing. You're having withdrawals, oh me. Getting ready to cut blanks yourself. Your hubby is on military duty for a few more days. I know how that goes. Okay, the jar is going to be Key West. I know that light's kind of bright, I'm sorry. And so, um, and my husband's being really loud <laughs> with the pressure washer. But I'm not gonna complain because I've been wanting the house to be pressure washed for quite some time and he's finally out there doing it. I started to do it the other day and our pressure washer was broke, so I had to order a new pressure washer. You're moving in 20 days. Well, you better be packing then. Lynn, the person painting every day is Amanda Clark. She commented right above you. Her Facebook page is Dressy Door Decor and More. Amanda, if you want to, just tag it on the comments so that they can easily find it. Sorry about that pressure washer. <laughs> Probably should have used a bigger brush for this because I feel like I'm having to put a bunch of brush, 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 I almost said breast strokes, brush strokes on the door hanger just to get this color on here. But I also wanted something that I could control the paint fairly well with to go around these leaves and stuff up here. And if I use a great big one, I won't be able to do that. Miranda, you have propped up the back of the toilet while you're getting back. <laughs> you know what? I have watched Facebook Live videos while doing all kinds of things. I watched one this after this morning while um, washing dishes. Kind of helps me forget that I'm doing something mundane and boring. So, takes my mind off of it. Or while folding laundry. Can't say I've ever done it while giving a kid a bath, but that does sound so like something that I would do.
okay, this is very uneven. So I'm gonna dip my brush again and actually let me switch to a bigger brush to even it out. And get a little bit more paint. So it's really streaky. Let me kind of show you. See all that? And so now I'm getting a bigger brush and the same color and I'm just gonna do longer strokes all the way across to try to even it out a little bit. I just have to be careful up here and not get into my flowers and leaves, which I probably will have to do a second coat up there around those areas. back over it again later. Okay, I'm going to flip it upside down so I can reach better. And I need to do a second coat on these leaves real quick. And then we'll add some details. Because that's the fun part. Hey, Ashley. Angela says you're getting a ton of teachers, Mother's Day. And nurses, I guess. Week door hangers finished. Yes, it is a busy week for stuff like that. Um, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I was telling earlier what I did for my kids teachers for t um, Teacher Appreciation Week this week. I just um, a Local like candy shop in town was advertising that they were doing caramel apples and For like seven dollars. They were like six ninety nine. I think they would make them and deliver them to your child's school teacher at school on teacher appreciation week so I ordered those last week and they delivered them this morning so we only have two teachers at that school so for 14 bucks I got a delivered gift to the teachers and both of the teachers messaged me and said that was awesome it was so delicious thank you <clears throat> so it was a win-win a for me I thought I'm thinking I need one of those caramel apples myself. Maybe I'll treat myself on Mother's Day or something. Because they were um, they were dipped in caramel and then rolled in like a graham cracker brown sugar crust type stuff. And then they had white chocolate drizzled on top of that. So they were like an apple pie flavor. It was awesome. I haven't tried them, but they look delicious. Thank you for sharing, Marilyn. I appreciate that. Okay, this is what we've got so far. Mabel from Kentucky, love I love what you're doing. Oh, thank you. Um, okay, so the process for adding detail to these flowers, I, I do it in like two steps. I'll use like a lighter pink, which this color is called Cameo Pink. It's like a real soft blush pink. Sorry, that lighting is awful. It's really bright. Um, and then I use a darker pink, but let me get the brush that I want. My favorite round tip brush, it's size six, it holds lots of paint. So I'm just gonna dip it in that pink. And I'm going to kind of like start in the middle and do kind of like a, uh, a circle, but not a complete circle. And just keep doing little motions like that going all the way out, kind of like little petals. But don't fill up the whole thing. So just do a few like this. Hi Sharon. Hi Kathy. Good morning. And just do it all with that light pink to start with and then we'll go back and add some in between with the dark pink. I always find it easier to start in the middle and work my way out. Okay, so now I'm gonna take, hang on, I need another color. Let me grab something real quick. <coughs> um, I think this is the color, hang on. I'm gonna experiment here. I can't remember what color I used last time. I think I mixed a little bit of red in with this magenta, which 
this is flamenco red. It really doesn't have to be a particular red, but I just want to darken up this magenta color a little bit to create kind of a deeper purpley pink. So I'm going to add some kind of turquoise in to this in just a second. I added the red. Set that down. And then this is called Tuscan Teal. I just grabbed it. We'll see how it turns out. I'm just going to do a, few, a couple of drops of this turquoise. See if you guys can see that color while I'm mixing it. And see it's turning it almost like a pinkish purple. Almost the color of my fingernails actually. It's a really pretty color. Ooh, I love that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back and try not to knock everything off the table. And I'm just gonna add in between, you want it to be dark enough that you can see the difference. So if this was not dark enough, I would add some more blue. I think it's gonna be dark enough though. And I'm just kind of putting some of these little marks in between the lighter color pink. Let's just add some depth. paint closer. pretty much it. So see how lovely that is up close? Good morning, Kay. I'll be down to see you soon in Florida. Okay, um, now I'm going to take the same green that I just used. I'm going to add a drop of black to it because I want to darken that up as well. And I'm using the same brush, the round tipped brush, washing it out. So see, I've got my green with a drop of black in there. I'm just going to mix that around until I get more of like a deeper, darker green, which that's not very much, but we don't need a whole lot. So just make it a darker green. Okay, and the way I like to do these leaves is I do like a line down the middle and then some little lines down the edge. And this is still a little wet, so that didn't cover quite as well as I would have liked, but kind of frame out the shape of the leaf and then I'm going to create another leaf kind of like right here. Oops, I got going the wrong way with that. And then if, if I don't know what else to put in there, like if there's not room for another leaf, sometimes I'll just do some little wiggly marks to kind of make it look busy, like foliage. Again, I apologize for the pressure washer outside. It is very loud, I know. So there's all of our greenery, and I may add a little bit of light, lighter color in there too. I'm going to swap to a skinny brush though to do that with and get some white. And this is like a size 3 round tipped brush, and I'm just going to use it to kind of accent the shapes of these leaves in just a couple of places. I'm not doing the whole leaf, but just a few little places on them. Okay, so there we go. Thank you, Carla. Okay, I think the only thing left to do Ooh, I forgot one more thing. Let me grab another paint color. I also like to use this King's Gold color um, to do like some little, like to make it look like there's a little bit of pollen in the middle of the flower. So I'm using that round tipped brush again, the size six. 
And I'm just gonna daub it in that king's gold and then do a few little dots right here in the middle. Just like three or four little dots. See? Thank you, Denny. Okay, um, I'm rinsing this same brush out and now we're gonna use white to kind of do the swirl in the lines down here on the jar. So I'm kind of swirling my brush around in that white. And then I'm just gonna do like a line down, but not like a straight line, and not a continuous line. It's kind of just a, a spotty line. Like it doesn't, it stops in places. And then a little swirl at the bottom. That swirl used to really stress me out, y'all. When I first started doing door hangers, I could not do that swirl at the bottom of the mason jar. So I hope that gives some of you hope that, <laughs> You know, if, you, if that stresses you out, that one of these days, if you keep at it, it won't stress you out anymore. Okay, now I'm going to get some black. And I'm going to put the name on it. It's the Nelsons. If it makes you feel more comfortable, you can write it out in pencil first. I'm just going to paint it on. And it sounds like Charlie is fixing to come in. So she may barge in here in her bathing suit in just a minute. Uh, the brush I'm using is a size 5 filbert tip. Uh, lettering used to really stress me out as well. So, um, it's just one of those things that the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. I know it probably doesn't feel like it at the time. Because when I first started doing lettering, I used to get them off center a lot. And I would have trouble, you know, running out of space. But the more you do it, you just kind of get the hang of it. I don't know. Like, all of those little problems just begin to fall away the more you do it. And now I it's almost like second nature. I don't really have to think about the spacing. Okay. The Nelsons. All right, this one's all done. I just have to make a bow for it at some point. Okay, you're looking awesome. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'm glad you're coming in this weekend. I need to make your face cream that you're wanting. <laughs> oh, paint, watching me paint makes you feel relaxed. Well, good. Painting makes me feel relaxed. So, thank you, Megan. Thank you guys for those of you who shared this video. I really appreciate it. It helps me reach new people and um, helps me find new followers. <laughs> you too, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. All right, well, I'm gonna get off here and go inspect my husband's pressure washing job. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.